So I posted a video on Facebook today, uh, Monday the 21st of January, and it was of a swelling over a knee joint. Now it's a condition we call, affectionately called carpal hygromas. Hunter's knees in the UK and Ireland we call them because they traditionally get them when they bang their knees. So this was a horse that presented with swelling in the leg, swelling over the knee that was localized a pocket fluid. When you pressed on it, it moved. As you can see in the video, it was quite obvious it was moving and there's a lot of fluid in there. My first port of call for these is I run the ultrasound machine over them. Why? Because I want to look inside and see what the fluid looks like. Is it hyper hypoechoic in the fact it's a lot it's very black or is it hyperechoic or is it mottled and um, that would indicate more signs of infection so there's an infection in there where it's black we tend to find it's inflammatory and it's usually caused by trauma the next step of the equation is to take a sample of it so when I take a sample of the joint I've got to make a split-second decision about what I'm going to do if there's any question mark about the quality of the fluid coming out and by that I mean the color and also how cellular it is so a very crude test is if I can read the numbers for the syringe through the, through the fluid then it's pretty good low cell count and I probably I'm not concerned with infection in which case then I'll administer some steroids into that region corticosteroids to decrease the inflammation if on the other hand I see a very pussy looking sample I'll be wanting to put some antibiotics in there and get the sample in for culture and also to have a look at the cell count so that's my port of call and that's my management plan for these once they're injected if they're inflammatory I'll put some corticosteroids in there which will decrease the inflammation I also bandage the leg now with carpal hygromas you've got to go quickly if you're going to get rid of them if you can to set, get some anti-inflammatories in there as quick as you can and bandage them up then often they'll come back to normal so as you'll see on this horse we tapped the fluid it looked very normal and then I put some steroids in there and I've come back sort of four days later and you'll see on the image that the swelling's all gone. It's back to normal looking leg. So fingers crossed with a bit more rest, this horse will return to normal and won't be a problem. Now what happens when you present these with chronic swelling, no lameness, then there are chronic carpal hygroma. And it's a little bit like a balloon. Once you've distended the balloon once, it's very hard to get it back to normal shape. So those horses will always have a cosmetic blemish, but often it won't affect performance or their athletic career. Just looks a bit unsightly. That is, of course, unless they're extremely large, in which case then they can be a little bit more problematic and we consider going to surgery to try and reduce the tissue there, but that's a lot more involved procedure. We like to see them nice and early. So if your horse does present with swelling over the knee joint, it is wise to have a vet have a look at it. Indeed, any swelling over any joint, it's worthwhile having a look at. So hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching. And just a reminder, if you are on YouTube, please press the subscribe button and we'll speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.